It is true in Papua New Guinea that many parents look up at their children as their future, that they will grow up, find jobs, and look after them in their twilight years. Is that then a belief that children in their love for parents also agree? Findings of a research by Save the Children comes up with some surprises. Bradley Gregory reports. The launch of an important piece of research, Evidence in Black and White. Save the Children, a non-government organization in union with independent consultants, have concluded after consultations in five different provinces, children in PNG still fall victim to child abuse. Unacceptably large numbers of children are still being subjected to all forms of violence. The impact on children isn't just one of the impact to their immediate physical or emotional well-being, even though so often that's what we think of and that's where the resources are allocated to. We also need to be talking about understanding and doing something about the long-term impact to their educational, physical and emotional development. The figures are relatively high. Data collated from UNICEF and MSF suggests that in PNG, about 70% of children experience emotional abuse, 70% experience physical abuse, over 50% endure any form of sexual violence while 50% come from violence within homes. Child protection is a complex topic in the world and in particular Papua New Guinea. It's a cross-cutting issue, cutting across government, non-government systems, community structures, churches and ethnic beliefs. More so the sectors, health, education, labor and the judicial system which pretty much contributes to the well-being and safeguarding of a child. Significant changes have been made on the part of government to achieve this. The Lookout in Pekinini Act. The research on the child protection system in Papua New Guinea has identified that it's still not achieving its intended purpose. This it says is because of the lack of connection between the legal framework and the informal community who are at the heart of it all. This government was not afraid to admit. We've looked at all the recommendations, 13, and um, it is putting us on notice on many things that, that uh, we are trying to do in terms of child protection. But in a way it helps um, to strategically roll out the LPA implementation, taking into consideration some of the important recommendations that have been put on paper for us to, to meet and discuss. However, government can't act alone. It needs support from everyone involved and especially the non-government organizations to realign and coordinate with government to get the necessary outcomes desirable by all. One of the biggest areas also is early childhood care and development uh, policy that we have. And I'd like to see partners coming in to see where they can come on board when it comes to implementation of early childhood care and development policy. Practical downfalls in child protection exists. This highlighted in the presentations. Delay in submission of files and witness statements from respective stakeholders, not only police, but uh, witness statements from respective stakeholders to the court. So those are the current issues that we have. And from my observation and from my experience in working with many of these stakeholders, like the, the police officers, specifically the child sexual offense squad, family sexual violence unit of the police, I see that there are very committed officers there. I cannot deny that fact and within the courts, within the specific stakeholders that we work with. But what I see is the lack of resources. While these challenges exist, there are some good values of the PNG culture that binds children and their rights with families and the extended clans 
and tribes. I think in Papua New Guinea you have an incredibly unique culture that's cemented through the, the Wantok system which I think is an incredible um, social protection system really and, um, and so I just really wanted to acknowledge that, that it's part of the informal sector that provides that kind of glue for, for the whole community. All of this point to a collective approach that is key to protecting the rights of a child, something that all sectors and individuals of society can work towards to achieve for the future of PNG and its children and those to come in future.